Hey, it's Derek and this is Route in five minutes or more. Let's go. What is it? Route is a free for merchant shipping insurance app with built-in visual package tracking, kind of like a Uber for your packages. And of course the updates are more like check-ins at warehouses, like you're used to seeing as text updates or other tracking situations, but it's not like you're taking the left turn on a certain street. It's not that actual up to the minute because that's just not how tracking packages works. And this tool works across multiple merchants, not just for your store, but for any store the customer shops with online and uses Route. So they can be tracking your package alongside something else they purchased from another store. Route is really slick for merchants because it is an optional purchase for the user, which they find over 55% of people will opt in. And then if there's any sort of issue with the package, if it's damaged or someone steals it from their doorstep, whatever it is, then Route makes the refund and claims process super easy for the user, and you don't get bogged down with any customer service issues. The user gets an email after purchasing the insurance, and there is a easy multi-step signup process. It's very easy to file a claim, choose the issue, and decide whether to get a refund or exchange. In fact, from your perspective, there's nothing wrong. Most of the time, Route will even repurchase the item directly from your store, similar to any other customer checkout, except it's on their credit card and not your dime. In this way, the customer is getting their replacement product and you may not even be aware of any issue. Route is handling all the hassle related to the returns and refund process for those people that have purchased the insurance. It's like having a personal return concierge that you don't even have to pay for. It's covered by the customer when they purchase that optional insurance. Competitive landscape. So there are traditional shipping insurance partners like USPS, UPS, et cetera, where you can buy insurance from them, usually at a cost to the business or baked into the product price. There are two other types of insurance plugin tools that are very similar, but I don't believe either of them have the built-in visual tracking. One is called Freddy and the other is called Quick. Both are partnered with Chubb Insurance and seem very similar to each other in that they are pushing that small commission that you'll get paid for each insurance purchase. And I don't personally see the value in trying to make a few pennies or commissions off your customer for this. It's really not the key focus, which to me is removing the hassle of that return and exchange process. For package tracking, there are a couple of app alternatives. One is called Ship Up, and the other is called Arrive. In both cases, they help the user with the package tracking side of their experience, but they don't offer the insurance component. Biggest differentiator. Route is unique in that after a user buys the Route insurance, they go through Route's own signup process and become a Route user. They download an app and set up all their shipping information with Route. If they purchase another product from another company who uses Route, Route already has in all their info. In that way, there's a sort of network effect as more people use Route and the percentage of insurance purchases will go up, I believe, which is great for Route customers and merchants. And the obvious differentiators that they've combined the visual tracking experience with the insurance component. Clearly they are focused on more of a customer centric experience, driving more value to the end user. And I think that's what's gonna make them a very successful company here. And by the way, it's free and it's very easy to install on any Shopify store. It's like two clicks. Metric impact. With an average opt-in rate of 55%, Route will become a major part of your product offering. The biggest value add for businesses is how much Route cuts down on those return and restocking costs. Route will fully reimburse store owners for lost and damaged products, allowing you to reship brand new items without having a negative impact on your cash flow. Imagine this, you have a 1% lost or damage replacement rate today, which is essentially 1% of your revenue shrinkage on your, on your overall margin. With Route, about half of those will buy insurance and you will actually gain a new sale instead of losing an additional product. That's not just a 50% reduction in that shrinkage, but also an equivocal boost in sales because Route is actually buying product from your store. So you essentially lose all lost or damaged shrinkage in your business. Your results may vary slightly, but you get the picture. Route is helping customers achieve a higher level of customer experience, which builds your brand relationship with your customers. And I know you may be thinking that they're building a relationship with Route, but I see it as both. You gave the user access to Route, which is a great way for everybody to work together for a better customer experience. This increases the customer's confidence in your brand while decreasing the cost of customer service and your margins. This is a big win. When should you use it? Really, you can use this at any stage of your business, but it's going to be increasingly valuable for merchants who are currently being bogged down with a lot of returns or replacement orders. It's also extremely important when you're threading the needle of your own margin because reducing customer service costs will give you a little bit more breathing room. When shouldn't you use it? If you sell Rolexes or other high ticket items on the regular, you may want to opt for a more traditional shipping insurance provider. If your average order value is over $4,000, and especially if you're doing low volume, Route cannot actually insure you. 
integrations. Rout will integrate with major platforms like Shopify, WooCommerce, Magento, or custom API. They'll work with buy now, pay later tools like Afterpay, Affirm, or Sezzle, as it is equivocal to having another item added to the cart. Pricing. Route is a free tool for merchants that makes their money by charging the buyer a percentage of the value of whatever item they insure. Most of the time, that's going to be at 1% to 1.5%, but can fluctuate based on risk factors, high fraud, and high frequency returns. Route is going to use your own past data to set rates for your store. The minimum insurance amount is 98 cents. So if you're at the 1% rate and someone is looking to insure on a cart worth 200, it would cost about $2. And obviously that does mean that if you have low uh, average order value, like in the five to $10 range, that shipping insurance option is going to be less desirable for you. Every time your customer uses Route, there's a very small flat rate that Route will pay out to you, the merchant, for referring the customer. And that starts at five cents and goes up, but it really isn't gonna make a big difference to you or your margins. Again, it's about that customer experience. Setup time and resources. If you are Shopify Plus, you can add a checkout integration, which can be done by you or the route team. It's a single line of div code. It doesn't really take that much time to do. The route team will set up in a sandbox version for you, and then you can push it live. It's about 15 minutes of work. Any developer can do it. If you're Shopify only or on another platform, it's as simple as installing the app and then setting up your preferences on the back end, which is mainly deciding between three main options. You need to know if users will be auto opt in versus auto opt out, or if you want to pay for the insurance yourself, which I typically don't recommend. The go-to is to opt them in automatically, and then they will be able to easily opt out. There's no upset issue. You're not trying to hide something by having them auto opt into it. It is literally just one of those choice decisions where having people auto opt in, like donating on your driver's license, it's better to have them do that, and it's better for them. Now, there are some outline circumstances where you have to communicate with the route team on out of stock items, discount repurchasing, and few other reconciliations you may need to handle with them. But that is still significantly lower than the amount of time that your customer service team and all those inquiries are going to be if you don't have route. Final thoughts. 90% of customers who add Route to the purchase will do so again when shopping at the same site. And 93% of those customers will add Route if shopping on another site. This proves the value, they're opting into it. Route is paid by the customer and optional, so there's really not much of a downside for merchants here. You gain significant business operation benefits and impact on your bottom line. And buyers who really don't want to pay the extra fee can always opt out with very clear messaging displaying the extra fee and opt out options right there in the checkout. So you're unlikely to lose anyone thinking that you've somehow snuck purchasing insurance. Think of Route as an app that adds extra options for customers that want it without impacting those who don't want it and at no cost to you. Related tools. There seems to be a high relationship between using tools like Route and a buy now, pay later tool like Affirm, Afterpay, or Sezzle. The type of purchaser that uses one tends to also use the other. Also, if you're thinking about improving the customer experience through the shipping process, I recommend taking a look at one of my favorite apps called Phoenix Commerce. This tool helps predict the landed date of the product, combine that with a tracking tool like Route, and you will see a higher conversion rate and lower customer service inquiries. That was Route in five minutes or more. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If Route interests you, please click on my partner link somewhere around here, or you can book a forever free consultation with me, Derek Haney. I'd be happy to talk to you about Route and the rest of your tool stack and other tools and opportunities that you may be missing right now. That's it. I'll see you guys next time.